AffPoint Cloud Governance can be used to provide a service catalog to business users that allows them to make requests for things like new SharePoint Online site collections, sites, lists and libraries, and MS Teams. Those new objects can be created with policies in place, which dictate settings and configurations, as well as control certain things that users can do and have access to. But what about Office 365 objects that already exist? For that, you can import those objects into Cloud Governance and apply the appropriate policies. To do that, log on to Cloud Governance and on the home page, click Settings. On the Settings page, in the SharePoint category, we locate and click on Import Existing Office 365 Objects. Objects can be imported manually by exporting a spreadsheet of the objects, filling in appropriate information, and then importing that back into Cloud Governance. There's also an automated import feature, which runs on a schedule. In this video, let's take a look at manually importing your Microsoft Teams. First, I have to export a list of Teams to the spreadsheet. You'll notice at the top we're on export mode. First, we provide a name and a description for the export. Next, we select the type of Office 365 object we're trying to import. In this case, we're trying to grab Microsoft Teams. If I scroll down, if I scroll down, I can now export all the group's teams from Office 365, or I can do it based on my AffPoint Online Services group containers. You'll notice if I select that option, all other, default, and Teams groups. Where are these actually coming from? Well, over in AffPoint Online Services, we know that we can create auto-discovery scan profiles. The scan profiles allow us to capture specific objects from Office 365 and catalog those for our AOS services. You'll notice here I have one setup that's called Teams and Office 365 Groups. If I select that and click Edit, we can see it's in advanced mode with a custom Office 365 container already set up called Teams Groups. What this is doing is it's finding all of my teams and then down at the bottom, it's taking all the other groups and adding them to this thing called All Other Office 365 Groups. To verify that it's finding what we want, we can view the scan history. In the scan history, I can see it's not picking up on any of my other object types. But for my Office 365 groups, it's detecting my Teams groups and putting them into the container that I've named Teams group. And it's taking my others and putting them into this container called All Others. The default Office 365 group container exists there because originally we ran the Express profile and that Express profile found all of my groups and put it into that container called default. We can see though that that is no longer capturing any of my groups because I'm no longer looking for any groups in this scan profile. So when we create advanced profiles, it's always a best practice to clear that type of object from any express that you're running. Allow your advanced profile to capture all the objects and divide them up into those containers as you see fit. So back over in Cloud Governance, if I want my Teams, I'm now set to very easily import those Teams groups. I will export this file to my local machine so I can review it and then fill in the information. Up at the top, we click Save and Export. Down at the bottom, I will save this document and I'll just drop it right on my desktop. And then we'll open it up. Click Enable Editing, and then we can widen the columns to make sure that we can see everything. So here are the names of my teams and their associated IDs. 
The rest of this information is what I need to fill in for cloud governance. As an example, group team policy, if I want to set an expiration date for a lease, who the contact and secondary contact are, and so on. The policy that you want to apply can be seen back in cloud governance. If we go up to the settings page and into policies, we can see we have one here that's called new private team. Now I've named it that way because I'm using it in cloud governance as part of a team's provisioning service, but that doesn't matter to the system. I can put that right into that spreadsheet and apply the same policy and all of its settings to my imported teams. Here we can see settings like the quota, no external sharing, lifecycle management options, inactivity threshold and lease period, quota threshold, and whether or not we have a recertification or renewal applied to the underlying SharePoint Online site collection. To apply that to the teams that you're going to import, you simply enter the name of that policy on the spreadsheet. Note here, of course, that using simple policy names makes this very easy. I'm not concerned with an expiration date. I'm not applying a lease in this case, but I will want to apply at least the primary group team contact. You can enter this in the form of an email address. I'm going to use the demo tenant administrator email address in this example, but real world, who is the actual business contact associated with that team? That is what you would want to enter for each individual team. Unless of course, the contact would be someone say in IT if IT is in control of these objects. If you have a secondary person that you would like to drop in, you can do that as well. If everything looks good, I'm going to save and then close that spreadsheet. And now back in cloud governance, we go back to our settings page, to our import existing Office 365 objects, to the import page. Again, provide a name and description. Tell it that I'm importing my Office 365 groups and Microsoft Teams, and then browse for the file. Then click Save and Apply. And that's it. We can now see that the import job here is running up on the Job Status tab. This process is extremely useful if you need to do a one-time import. I'm bringing in all of the objects that I want to essentially bring them under the oversight of cloud governance. And from this point forward, if all new objects will be created through cloud governance, through its provisioning services, then things like policies and your leases and your thresholds will all be assigned at that time. If however, that is not the case, you can also set up the automatic import to periodically look for new objects and bring them in and assign all those settings and configurations. It really comes down to how extensively you are using cloud governance. We have a separate how-to on how to configure the automatic import, so please check that out. We can see that job now has completed, and that means since I entered in the email address of the administrator account, that administrator now has been assigned as the primary owner, the primary contact of those teams. If I go into my cloud governance portal and click onto workspaces as that person, as the administrator, I can now see listed here those individual teams. We can also go back into cloud governance one more time. And if we go back to the home page, we can go into My Teams and Groups, and I can see again the names of those teams, and I can see the policy has been applied. Now, of course, I can see that here because I'm logged in as the admin. For your standard business users, this information will be enough. Thanks for watching this short video on how to manually import Microsoft Teams into cloud governance.